हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस दैट इज़ अ टॉपिक ऑफ ग्रामर व्हाट इज वॉइस वी मस्ट नो व्हाट इज वॉइस द वॉइस ऑफ अ वर्ब टेल्स वेदर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस परफॉर्म्स और रिसीव्स द एक्शन देर आर टू वेज इन विच वी कैन डिस्क्राइब एन एक्शन performed by the subject in relation with the object type of voice active voice in the active voice the subject performs the action expressed by the verb uses when more clarity and straightforward relation is required between verb and subject passive voice the subject receives the action expressed by the verb and its uses when the action is the focus not the subject and when the doer is unknown it means in the active voice subject performs the action in the passive voice action is performed on the object by the subject let us do in detail active voice The subject of a sentence is a person or a thing we talk about. When the subject does something, we use active voice. For example, people sell good luck flowers. People is the subject here, doer. Sell is the active verb. It can be different in different tenses. Okay, good luck flowers. This is the object here. action is done by the subject what is passive voice passive voice is when you write a sentence in which the subject receives an action for example active voice the human help the aunt now while making passive voice the aunt will become our subject and that was helped by the human here the action is received by the aunt let us understand the difference between a transitive verb and intransitive verb before proceeding with the steps required to convert the voice of any sentence and it is also very important to know the verbs that are incomplete in meaning without transferring their action to an object are called transitive verb ravi hit the ball the act of hitting is incomplete without the ball the verb that are complete in meaning without an object are called intransitive verb ravi had a dream the act of dreaming is complete even without an object in the first sentence ravi hit the ball we have object that's why it is transitive verb in the second sentence ravi had a dream we even don't have object only the transitive verbs can be changed into passive one in transitive verbs can't be changed into passive verbs so remember students only transitive verbs can be converted into passive voice thus a sentence in active voice should have a subject verb and the object in the following order before it can be converted into passive voice for example ravi ravi is a doer here subject killed killed is the verb here and a snake is the object all the three things are here so we can convert it into passive voice ravi killed a snake a snake was killed by ravi there are five simple steps to convert active into passive voice first one identify identify the subject object and verb second swap 
object with subject and subject with object means change the subject into object and object into subject convert mean verb into third form that is convert v verb verb only third form of the verb is used in passive voice fourth one add proper helping verb of to be before main verb b form r is am are was were b is the first form was is the second form and been is the third form so to be forms are is am are was were now fourth step sorry fifth step add preposition by before the object object here means the new object which earlier was the subject of that sentence these simple five steps will help us to convert the active voice into passive voice transformation of voice first rule was to identify the subject object and main verb here one sentence is given she sings a song she is subject here sings is the verb a song is an object now change in the position of subject and object that is swap swap with subject with object she is the subject here and a song is object here so we will make a song subject of passive voice and she will convert into her later i will be telling you how to change these okay subject into object and object into subject she sings a song now passive voice is a song is sung by her change in pronoun in the active voice as i have told you she is the pronoun here and we will change she into her there are some other also i am going to show you the list there are two important things that needs to be remembered here when replacing the subject with the object if the subject is pronoun then the conversion will be like this i will become me you will become you he him she her it it we us you is also used for plural also that will also remain you they and them they will change into them so this way pronouns will be converted conversion will take place change in verb beta always third form of the main verb is used here but we are to add proper helping verbs of to be before the main verb how to add this i am going to tell you the rules for that the same example she sings a song sings is first form of the verb and first form of the verb will change into is am are plus v3 v3 means third form of the verb so here a song is singular that's why is is used here and sung is the third form of sing so this way this way it will be converted into passive voice here is the list of rules v1 or v1 plus s or es will change into is mr plus v3 for example we enjoy a sound sleep we is the subject here enjoy is the main verb here a sound sleep is object here now we will follow the rule we will change the subject with object and object with subject now our new subject will be sound sleep enjoy is the first form of the verb 
first form will change into is mr plus v3 so is enjoyed and we will join it by the preposition by by us the sound sleep is enjoyed by us now second rule if is mr plus v1 plus ing that is present continuous tense that will change into is mr plus being plus v3 form of the verb for example we are learning active passive passive voice active passive are being learned by us now present perfect tense has have plus v3 will change into has have plus been plus v3 for example she has invited her friend passive voice her friend has been invited by her the all the rules are same five points i have told you change the subject into object and object into subject add the preposition by always use third form of the verb and other helping verb according to the subject simple past tense in which v2 second form of the verb is used that will change into was or were plus v3 form of the verb for example he shot a bird passive voice a bird was shot by him Pre past continuous was were plus v1 plus ing will change into was were plus being plus v3 form for example you were enjoying the party passive voice the party was being enjoyed by you past perfect tense that is had plus v3 had that will change into had been plus v3 form of the verb for example they had already taken the lunch the lunch had already been taken by them in this way we will change the active into passive voice next is simple future in which we use will plus first form of the verb that will change into will plus b plus v3 for example i will do the exercise passive voice the exercise will be done by me future perfect tense will plus have plus v3 will change into will plus have plus been plus v3 form of the verb for example he will have bought the tickets passive voice the tickets will have been bought by him in this way we can convert the active voice into passive voice but remember only transitive verbs can be converted into passive voice it is also important to remember that present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future continuous and future perfect continuous can't be changed into passive voice there will be no change in it next one model auxiliaries that will change into model plus v plus v3 form of the verb for example you can do this work can is used as a model here in the active voice this work can be done by you another example you should respect your elders should is model here so we will add b you your elders should be respected by you in this way with other models also we will use model plus b plus v3 form of the verb i can solve this sum this sum can be solved by me here i am going to give you some examples of interrogative sentences 
do you do your homework regularly passive voice is your homework done by you regularly second example did he break the glass was the glass broken by him next example why did she beat the servant why was the servant beaten by her next how will you cross the river how will the river be crossed by you imperative sentences these sentences express command order request suggestion etc while changing imperative sentences we use verbs like advise request order for example please post the letter passive voice you are requested to post this letter next example shut the door you are ordered to shut the door some more examples light the lamp let the lamp be lighted never tell a lie passive voice let a lie never be told we can make it in other way also a lie should never be told next example work hard you are advised to work hard now the point comes when to use active or passive voice use active voice when the subject is more important than the action for example radha stole my pen the one who stole is more relevant than the object stolen use passive voice when the subject is not relevant or is not known my pen has been stolen the one who stole does not matter both the sentences are same in meaning but the context changes in the first sentence subject radha is given more importance in the second sentence we are giving more importance to the object that is pen the action performed by the subject rather than the subject itself so there are two reasons of using passive voice if you want to give less importance to the subject and focus more on the action and the receiver of the action and second is if you don't know the subject at all in these two ways or these are the two reasons that we should use passive voice in this way we have completed passive voice now you will do the exercise of passive voice in your notebook which i am going to provide you in the form of pdf